It's not every day that a cat steals the spotlight of a multi-million dollar movie. Hi everybody, my name's Jason, and welcome to Cats and Pats. Now, I had a video all pre-recorded for this week, I was gonna be editing right now, but like I mentioned in the intro, it's not every day that a cat is like front page news, or front website news. Is front page even a thing anymore? But yeah, that doesn't happen very often, and this is Cats and Pats, so we gotta hop on it. Also, don't worry, there's no spoilers ahead. Sarah and I don't even watch movie trailers anymore because like, They've gone so bad, they give so much stuff away. So you don't have to worry about that from me. So Sarah and I saw Captain Marvel this week, and we both enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Honestly, I'm a little bit more pumped for Avengers Endgame, but whatever. But one of the aspects of the movie that we really enjoyed, and like a ton of other people really enjoyed, was Captain Marvel's cat, Goose. Now, cats don't really usually get a lot of screen time in movies, and most of the time when they are, they're like antagonistic, I feel like. They're always like... Oh, hey, man. Hey, Mr. Man. Come to join me. Okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah, cats are oftentimes like antagonistic characters or sometimes they're like villains in the animated movies and stuff. So it was awesome in this movie to remind like millions of people how awesome cats can be. Right, Mew? What's up, Mew? And people really connected with the cat goose, which we'll get into that in a second. So here's a quick two second background of the cat's character. If you see Moo's tail, he's on the love seat edge, but I think all you can see is like his tail flicking in every once in a while. Mew, you could come in the shot and Show everybody how cute you are. So yeah, background on the cat. In the comics, Captain Marvel has a cat, but that cat is named Chewie, like Chewbacca from Star Wars. And if you're curious what he looked like, I'll put a picture right here from the comics. For the movie, they changed the cat's name from Chewie to Goose, a la Top Gun, because Captain Marvel is a fighter pilot, and they wanted to hammer in every single like nostalgia thing they could. I'm looking at you, 90s soundtrack. But Goose the Cat was a hit even before production. Apparently, the Captain Marvel directors gave Kevin Feige, who's like the Marvel head of the universe and like, deciding all these things and produces all this stuff. They gave him a copy of the initial script and apparently he replied back with, yep, we're gonna need about 200% more Goose in the story. From early promotions on, Goose took over. There were a whole bunch of trending hashtags like Goose the Cat or Goose El Gato. Oh, so you know how superhero movies, they do like the individual posters of characters and they're like standing there like posing all strong or like looking in the distance or looking really cool. And they'll do posters for all the characters, like there was a Captain Marvel one, and there's like a Nick Fury one. Well, the production team made a legit one with Goose on it, and everybody loved it. It became a running trend in Korea where people were photoshopping their own cats onto the movie posters, and it is fantastic. You can search like this hashtag that I'll put right here, which is in Korean, so I don't really know how to say it. But Sarah's learning Korean, so I'll ask her. Hey, Sarah Butt? Sarah Butt? Can you come pronounce this? Excuse me, Frenchie. It's written in Korean and I told everybody you were learning. Oh. The hashtag is right there. We'll see oh, how this oh, goes. You, you, oh, okay. I have I'll makeup show, on. I was I'll in the show. middle of doing my makeup, so <laughs> you caught me at the right time. Okay. Um, Captain Marvel. Okay. Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Uri Jeep Gusa. So Uri means like we or our. Jeep is house. And then Gusa Goose, is yeah. goose. Our house? Yeah, Jeep is house. Okay. So people say, like, you oh, never say my oh, like, house, you keep, say our house. Keep going. Oh, is there more? That's oh, the whole thing. Oh, is that it? That's the whole thing. Our house? Goose? Captain Marble Uri Jeep Goose. Hmm. What did you... Well, I thought I might say Goyen Yi, because it's... Everybody, this is where people were photoshopping their cat on the Captain Marvel posters. Goyen Yi means cat in Korean. So is it like our ha I thought it might be like our house cat goose or something. Or... No, it's like our house... Like, oh, our, our house goes. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I, didn't, yeah, I didn't yeah, get it. Okay, yeah. I get it. I get things. All right, thanks, Sarah. But yeah, you're welcome. Captain Mabul Uri Jeep Goose. Wow, look at you, all fancy. So Goose on set was played by four separate cats, as well as like one robotic cat, or maybe a CG cat, or maybe both. They couldn't do all real cats, obviously, for some of the more dynamic scenes where they needed the cat to do like you know, wild movements or whatever. The primary actor or cat that played Goose the most, that's like most associated with what Goose looks like, 
was a 12 year old tabby cat named Reggie. Reggie actually made an appearance at the Captain Marvel premiere wearing like a little tie and it's the best thing ever. Now Reggie wasn't the only one that was working so I want to make sure I give the other cats a shout out. So yeah this is how this Times article breaks it down. Reggie did most of the close up work for the movie and from my perspective the PR angle I feel like he's really the face of Goose. Next we have Archie who specialized in the cuddly shots. Then there was Gonzo who did the scenes where you needed a cat to like walk up to your leg and nuzzle on it. And finally we have Rizzo who did the like claw at your face sort of scenes which led to some pretty iconic moments. So yeah that's the four primary cats that played Goose. Another fun fact Brie Larson who plays Captain Marvel apparently has a pretty bad cat allergy. The production team had to be pretty careful with Brie Larson and like for some scenes they filmed it with like a stuffed cat that way it wouldn't like affect her allergies. Also they had to take a lot of precautions to make sure there wasn't like a lot of cat dander and like hair and stuff on her suit. So yeah, I thought that was kind of wild. But yeah, Goose the Cat is great in the movie. Once again, no spoilers, but there are some really good comedic moments with Goose. There's some like really good interactions with Goose and uh, Sam Jackson's character Nick Fury. And there are some really good surprise moments with Goose that I'm excited for you to see. If you're into comic book movies, I think Captain Marvel is worth seeing. Or if you just want to like support Reggie and the other cat's salary of what I assume is like catnip and wet food, then that might be worth it by itself. USA Today has a video of Reggie slash Goose out of character, so if you want to see that, I'll link it down in the description below. So yeah, what's your favorite movie that features a cat heavily or has like a cat sidekick or something like that? Was it Captain Marvel or maybe Alien with Jones in there? Let me know down in the comments below. If you're new here and you like cat things, make sure you subscribe. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.